Okay, so now we have a class, um, you know, uh, we have a class that has three fields. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use this class to instantiate an object, um, create an object, make it exist, and then we're going to describe that object using these three fields. So why don't we um, let me turn this off? And, uh, oops, sorry. Turn this off. Turn this on. Okay. Why don't we do this one first? Okay. So we make the girl. We make this one uh, appear. All right. So uh, the object name is G1. First name, last name, and we'll, s we'll set a balance. So let's 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 do this one here. Okay. So we go to uh, the main program. Okay. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to um, create object G1. So I'm going to go uh, a c and t, which is the name of the class. G1 equals new a c and t, just like that. All right. Don't worry about the error. The the warning is that we have a new object, but we never use it yet. No, no worries. We will soon. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we create a new object, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, uh, describe that object by setting its fields properties variables okay so remember that uh, in our class uh, these these three fields are publicly accessible which means that I can set these fields from within this main program okay so let's give this a shot first I'm going to save it Okay, so let's get started here. Now, what I'm going to do something shocking. I'm going to take my account class here and I'm going to move it up here. Okay, so check this out. So I can see both my account class and I can see my main program down here. Pretty cool, eh? Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to set my... So I, I created an object, G1. Okay, and now I'm going to set the fields. So I'm going to go G1. Oops, G1 dot name f equals princess okay g1 dot name last equals Leia all right and I'm gonna go um, g1 dot balance equals uh, let's give her thousand dollars thousand dollars let's go like this Okay, wait a sec, get rid of the dot zero zero, and there you go, okay. <clears throat> so this is it, uh, that's it, I created my object, okay. So by doing that, my 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 my, uh, my object here exists, and what I've done is I described my object by setting these three fields, and that's, that's what I've done here. Uh, so my object exists, okay. Now, um, a couple of things here is uh, first of all uh, this is great but the problem is um, I don't want these fields to be publicly accessible um, what I mean by that is um, oh first of all sorry what I want to do is or even get that far um, I just want to test that uh, these fields actually do exist so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, system dot out dot print line okay and I'm gonna output these ones here so g1 dot name f plus g1 dot name l plus g g1 dot balance so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna print oops I'm just gonna print out to the to the console okay my um, the three fields I just set so let's go run run okay here we go so there princess Leia 1000 okay so this uh, line here verifies okay that um, the the fields the, the fields I set were uh, were actually printed okay now um, <clears throat> now let's talk about assessor methods um, 
the problem with this system is that uh, I don't want um, I don't want to be able to actually let me move this back in here so just drag it right back in here okay the problem with this is I don't want to allow other classes okay to be able to modify this variable this property or this field without going through another method now that's a lot to chew on um, you know you gotta stop and think about it for a second let me give you an example so if this is you okay and uh, you have let's say a uh, a social insurance number I mean like I'm talking about you personally you have a social insurance number that's a pretty private number um, now you do not make that number publicly available for everyone to see and, and, and access right your social insurance number is not available for everyone to see and access. I mean, like for in in real life, in real life, what happens is, in order for you to get, in order for you to give someone your social insurance number, you need someone to ask to access a method within you, and then what you're going to do is you're going to say, um, you didn't go through a criteria. I'm only going to give out this social insurance number if I'm applying for a job. Or applying for a loan, or applying for a credit card, or applying for a bank account, or applying for a line of credit, right? If someone off the street is asking you for your social insurance number, you're not going to give it to them. So what you're doing is that that variable, your social insurance number, is not publicly available. You have to go through a method or a set of criteria or an algorithm before you're able to before you divulge that information. Okay, and we do the same thing here. I mean, is it really? Is it? is it too much different than your own real first name and last name you're not going to give your first name and last name out to just anybody you're going to you're going to go through a criteria right so let's have a look at what this looks like so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make this a private field okay and i'm going to error right away okay and, and this will be a private this will be private Now, when I set this from to private, what I'm basically saying is that now listen carefully. Nothing else, okay? Nothing else can use these can use can access, read, or set these fields or properties of variables, except for with from within this file. So this file here now shows an error, okay? Because um, because listen, the field. Uh, name F is not visible okay I can't see it anymore now as opposed and watch this if I go public okay now now it is visible okay and this is not an error anymore but I want it to be private okay <clears throat> so the next question is uh, how how do you ac access these fields okay if uh, if you can if you can't set them like this so um, now these no longer make any sense okay so we can we may as well delete these okay and we can't uh, we can't do this anymore either we can't uh, we can't access now listen now listen carefully we can't access the name f property field or variable through the g1 object anymore because we've now made them private okay so the question is, how do we set these properties and fields? So at this time, you should uh, you should understand wh uh, why we have private fields or properties or variables. Uh, and in the next lesson, I'm going to show you uh, what an accessor method is.